Hey actors, it's Wendy Lane Wright, the Hollywood Talent Manager, Los Angeles, California. And today's video is going to be about how do you know you're choosing the right agent? Great question, Melissa Vassell. Thanks for asking it. And I'll also tell you how do you know you're choosing the right headshot and the right acting clips? Here's the answer. Trial and error. You won't know if you're choosing the right agent or the right headshot or the right acting clip, right? You're going to be learning trial and error. You're going to be trying people out and seeing if it's a fit for you. So let's talk about first choosing the right agent. When you are thinking about signing with an agent, you should sit down and make a list of the agents you would like to work with. And, you know, look at their roster on IMDb, see the kind of people they represent, see if they have people working on television and film, and then make a list of who you want to meet with. And then you're going to send your materials to those agencies. Now, some of them are going to respond to you and say, yes, I'd like to set up a meeting. And some of them are going to completely ignore you. In uh, the next day, send them an email saying, thank you so much for taking the time to look at my submission. I know you're really busy. I hope you could just take a quick glance on it. I think I could be a good fit for your roster. If you don't hear back from it, Submit again in three months with completely different materials, different headshots, different acting clips, and see if they take an interest then. If they do say, yeah, I'm interested, you say you submit to 25 people and seven want to set up a meeting. And then you're like, oh my God, four of them offered me representation. I don't know which one I should go with. I'm going to give you a couple hints on that because I can't tell you who to go with. Nobody can tell you that. Here's the hints, okay? The person needs to be extremely excited about you. They need to watch your acting clips or listen to you sing or watch you dance or listen to your voiceover materials, whatever it is that you're presenting them. And they have to fall in love with your work and tell you why they love it. What did you like about my work is what you should ask them. What did you like about my, uh, my acting clips? What did you like about my voice? What did you like about my dancing? Uh, what do you like about my singing? Find out what it is they like about it. Why are they excited about it? They have to know why, right? And if they seem excited and passionate about your talent, that's a good, that's a good thing, okay? Also, have them look at your materials. If they don't even look at your materials, why are they signing you? Like, sometimes people sign you just because they like your look. Oh, that's a very different look. I've never seen anyone like that. Signed! Okay. You've never met them. You've never spoken to them. They're signing you because they like your look. That doesn't mean you have a package that's ready to be marketable. It doesn't mean you've given them tools to sell you with. So that might not be a good fit. You might be there six months. They never get you auditions and then you have to go to another one. Another question you want to ask when you're meeting with potential agents is, how do you see me in this business? Like what kind of jobs and roles do you think I could play? What kind of roles in TV and film do you think I could play? Are you going to submit, submit me for commercials? Are you going to submit me, listen it, let me know. Are you going to submit me for voiceovers? Are you going to submit me for TV and film? Are you going to submit me? See, that's a, that's a hard one. I think it could be a tongue twister. Are you going to submit me for film? Are you going to submit me for TV? Are you going to submit me for voiceover? Nah, I got it. Ask them because they need to be in the same, like, on the same path that you have for yourself. So say you want to be a TV actor. You really don't want to do commercials. You just want to do TV and film. And they say, no, we weren't going to submit you for TV and film, just commercials. That's not a fit. That's not a fit. Got to be on the same path, the same wavelength, the same plan of action, right? Got to be right here with each other. They need to see you the same way you see yourself. Or be open to see how they see you because they may see things in you you don't see in yourself. They may be like, oh, my God, you would be perfect for this kind of role. And you're like, I never thought of that before. You're right. I might be able to do that. So listen to the types of roles they think you could be right for. And ask them the next question. How do you pitch? What's pitching? Pitching is when an agent goes in the breakdowns and they read the description of the roles and they go, oh, here's a role that might be right for my client. Yeah, they click on the role and then they pull up all their clients and then they click on your photo and they click on your acting clip and then they attach it to that and send it to casting. 
Now some agents, that's all they do. It's called click and submit, click and submit, click and submit. Not enough, not enough. They have to pitch. There's several ways they can pitch. When they, before they hit click and submit, they write in the notes, they pitch you. This actor just booked a co-star and was on hold for, uh, pinned for this show and also shot a, a McDonald's commercial and blah, blah, blah. This actor has six years of professional soccer experience on a team. This actor is a local hire. They live in Texas, and blah, blah, blah. They don't, they use that box to pitch you to casting, to give casting a little more information about you as an actor. Still not enough. The next level of good representation goes even further. They send an email to casting. And in that email, they say, hey, Mary Vernu, casting director, I just submitted my client, Wendy Green, to you for the role of Barbara Zane. Could you take a look at the submission? Thank you so much for your time. Now, the agent is waiting to hear back from that casting director, and maybe they don't hear back. Okay, time to call the casting director. Hey, uh, Mary, I just submitted you this actor for the role of blah, blah, blah. I sent you an email this morning. Could you possibly take a look at the submission? Sure, I'll look at the submission. I'll let you know. Click. Great. They don't hear back. Uh... Pick up the phone again. Hey, I know you guys are really busy. I just wanted to, you know, get, tell you again about my client. He's perfect for this. He has six years of professional soccer. He just booked this. He's a co-star on that, and he, he's on hold for this. I really think you might like him for this role. Could you please take a look at the submission? Sure, we'll get back to you. Click. Chirp, 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 chirp. Nothing. What do you do? You pick up the phone again. Hey, I know, you know, I know you guys are really busy. You're probably on other roles right now. I just wanted to direct your attention to this. He just got offered this. He just got offered that. He's done six years at this. Um, I really think this is the right actor for you. Okay, fine. We'll look at your fucking submission. Oh, okay, great. Thank you so much. Let me know what you think. Click. It took pitching in the notes, sending an email, calling three times before they finally look at the submission. That's called pitching your client. Now, click and submit is a lot easier, isn't it? Just click submit, boom, you never have to talk to anybody. Click submit, click submit, but that's the worst, worst, worst way an agent or manager can work because it requires the least amount of effort and it doesn't go the extra mile and it doesn't fight for you to get in the room. And there are agents I know, like Robin Nassif at Media Artist Group, who get on the phone, pitch, email, call all day long the end of the day, between 7 o'clock and 8 o'clock, she's on the phone calling, 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 calling to get her clients in the door. You have those kind of agents. And then you have the other kind that are afraid to pick up the phone and call casting. Ooh, casting doesn't like when we call. Not a very good agent. So you have to ask them, how do you pitch? Well, what do you mean? Well, do you email the casting director to draw attention to my to the submission? Do you pick up the phone and call them when I'm really right for something? Obviously, they don't pick up the phone and call. If it says 18 to 25-year-old girl next door, like half their roster can play that, right? So they're not going to pick up the phone and call about something like that. But if it does say, you know, a tall 18 to 25-year-old guy, he's tall and lanky and he plays soccer and the guitar and you're like, oh my God, I have a client exactly like that you're going to pick up the phone and call on that actor's behalf because they really fit the role to the T. Like they really fit the role. So you want to ask the agent, how do they pitch? And listen for the answer. If they don't want to tell you the answer, oh, there's a red flag. Flag. Something's wrong with that. Why can't they tell you? I'm a manager. If you ask me how I pitch, I'll tell you. I'll tell you exactly what I do. Why shouldn't I tell you what I do? You're asking me to be on your team and you want us to work together. You have every right to know what I'm going to do. And I have expectations of what I want you to do, right? But we're working together. So I'll tell you everything I do. And you do the things I tell you. Now we're working as a team, right? All right. The other question is, how often do you want me to, how, do, how often do you want to stay in touch? Like, 
I'll tell you one thing. Agents don't like being bothered for no reason, like just for any reason. Hey, like I was wondering, you know, have you found any jobs for me? Don't call and ask that question. The agent is busy looking for work for you. If they have to stop what they're doing to answer that stupid question, they just stop looking for jobs for you. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Uh, is there anything in the breakdowns for me today? Don't call and ask that. I just said don't do that, right? Leave the agent alone. The reason you call the agent is to say, I have a question about this audition. And then only if you have a real question. You, when you get an audition, should look at the, look at the casting director's notes. Follow those notes like to the letter. They write those notes on purpose for a reason. They try to give you every piece of information you could possibly need in the notes. Read the notes 10 times. Don't call and ask the agent anything that's already explained in the notes. Because that's like, oh my God, this actor isn't paying attention. Why can't they read the notes? I don't have time to stop what I'm doing to explain something that's already in the notes. Go read the notes. Then you think, God, my agent is so mean. No, they just don't have time for stupidity. Okay? So read the notes and follow it exactly. Now, if you have a question that's not covered in the notes and you need to talk to your agent, that's the only time you call. Or if you are booking out and you or you have an emergency and you can't get to an audition, that's when you call and you ask for a later time. You know, I just, <coughs> I don't remember, I can't, <coughs> I'm running out of ability to finish this video. I have a little thing caught, so I'm going to end this video, but I think I've given you enough information and I'll see you in the next video. See you later.